Chelsea could have ended it. That image that you're looking at there could have been the end of the Premier League title. I said, if Chelsea won, I'm calling that league. I don't, I don't, I don't care. I don't give a damn. If Chelsea had won by Costa put away that penalty, I would call the league. But I think they've just delayed the inevitable. Let's look at the game. Liverpool. Were Liverpool the better team? No. You see, Liverpool dominated. They had more of the possession. They had full control of the game. Chelsea only had little attacks here and there. But I can't say Liverpool deserved to win the game. They didn't deserve to lose. They didn't deserve to win the game. Because how many clear-cut chances did they create? How many times did they really fully open up Chelsea? Did they ever really make Chelsea look totally on the back foot? And I have to say again, this Chelsea... If Chelsea do end up winning this league, I will say to all the other um, 19 teams that you really didn't test these boys. Because as I see Luis and Cahill again, I'm like, there are mistakes here. These guys aren't fully assured. This isn't Bonucci, Chiellini and Bazali where you know uh, these guys know what, what they're doing. They're, they make so many mistakes. Obviously, granted, they make up for the mistakes. But Luis and Cahill, they make so many positional mistakes. But somehow... Teams just do not really capitalize, and they always end up in just about getting a last-ditch tackle to save themselves. You look at that Fem Femino chance. Mate, take a touch, bro. But for Liverpool, as much as they had possession of the ball and everything, you know, um, it really, it's, it, you look at the goal that they, they conceded, Mignolet. Because again, for, for, for Mignolet, is it, it's, it's hard, because for Mignolet, that was 100% his fault. I mean, because the guy just, that's just poor concentration. But as you say that, yes, good free kick, but again, the, the keeper wasn't even interested. Look at that that penalty save. That That's such a huge save. Because that goes in, it's game over. Because our friends Arsenal lost, Tottenham drew. So, um, but then obviously Liverpool, they, they did well to come back. And again, you know, you look at that Vinaldum goal. Good goal, open them up. But then look at that Vinaldum G. Look at what... Um, conspired to make that happen. The Chelsea defending was poor. Again, that is a very bad goal to consider. It wasn't great, intricate play from Liverpool. Yes, Henderson putting it over and, and, and Milner putting it across for Vinaldo. No, but it wasn't intricate play from Liverpool. Chelsea, bad positioning, bad marking. People not aware because that is something that really you should, you should put away. You shouldn't concede that kind of G. Um, but as much as Liverpool had possession of the ball, how many times did they penetrate? How dynamic were they for opening them up? How many through balls really created one-on-one -on -one situations against Courtois? How many times were Chelsea fully opened up? Where guys were... I mean, like, I never felt that, man, Chelsea, literally, they, 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 these guys are getting battered. It's just that like Liverpool had a lot of possession on the ball. But I think Conte, he set his team up beautifully well. But as I say that, for Conte, you messed up. Chesk, Sesk, and a guy who've insulted a lot should have been, been brought in a lot earlier. Literally, this guy was brought in about nine minutes to go. Everything he touched turned to flipping gold. The amount of through balls he made, the amount of chances he, he, he created, every single time he had the ball, his awareness, his distribution, his execution of the ball was amazing. So for Conte, mate, you should have brought him on early. Because you bring him on a lot early, I think Fabregas... Give him five, six, seven minutes more, he would have created something for Costa. He would have created something for Pedro. Um, but I think for Liverpool, I just think it's it's a case of I do think they were missing money, you know, because if let's say okay, they, they they keep down 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 to one and everything, but money was a lot fresher because again, you just saw he was tired. Money was, was tired. It wasn't the money that we we're normally used to seeing. But if money was there, I think. Because really, what money gives you is a different dimension, an unpredictable, unorthodox dimension. And they were missing that. It was too predictable. And when you go up against an extremely well-coached team like Chelsea, you've got to come, you, you, you've got to come up with some, some surprises. There were not enough offensive movement surprises from Liverpool that really got Chelsea on the way. And when, when you've got a freak of nature like, like Kante, who this guy is back, forward, everywhere. This this, 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 this guy was a, as a Neptune and flip, flipping Krypton all, all throughout the 90 minutes. That guy, my lord in heaven. Um, So yeah, 
it just feels like if this this is meant to be for Chelsea, unless something cataclysmic happens, you know, to sort of um, quote my um, talking tactics partner, Daniel Tillich, unless something catastrophic happens to, to Chelsea, everything just seems to be... Because again, all the results went, went their way. All the results went their way. Um, so I think even winning it would just have been like, you know what, there's no point in even watching. But now it's like, literally, Chelsea just need... Because if Chelsea, they beat Arsenal, then just they just win four, five more more games, guys. Let's just wrap it up, baby. Cause I'm ready to, to wrap it up soon. But let's just say three, four, maybe three, four, five wins more. That's it. I'm wrapping it up. I'm calling it. So I may I may call it within the ne- the next few weeks. And for Liverpool, you know, they need they had to win the game. A, a draw is perfect for, for Chelsea. A draw ain't good for Liverpool. Cause what's 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 it? so it's still a, a ten point swing. Ten points. We're heading into February. What's it called? February, March, April. Man, bro, my it ain't looking good, man. It ain't looking good, good, good for Liverpool to really. Um, so, man, because ten points is big. in at this stage of the game, ten points is big. But again, stranger things have happened. I mean, a certain team coughed up a five points lead, but I just think that for Chelsea, it just seems as if um, history is beckoning. Remember to click the buttons that say sub- to subscribe. Head to the web- websites and view other videos. Peace out.